Hey Virgo, welcome back to your weekend reading. Hope you guys had a great evening. Uh, let's get into this and see uh, what messages are showing up here for your weekend. Gosh, uh, April, I don't even know what today is. April 12th through the 14th, wow. Okay, so we're gonna check and see what's going on. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the videos and the readings and do become a member if you like, $2.99 per month. Check it out. All right, let's get going here. Weekend messages for Virgo. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Personal reading link is in the description box below. Okay, one more, one more for Virgo. One more for Virgo. All right, there you go. Okay. Wow. All right, Virgo, starting with liar. Be careful of someone being sneaky over this weekend, Virgo. Someone is, look at that, Pinocchio with the long nose. <laughs> Someone's being sneaky. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Who's being sneaky with Virgo? Be careful. Someone has maybe not so great intentions for you over this weekend and they're just hiding something oh wow yeah somebody's really stressed um so they're lying because <clears throat> they're lying about something because they're worried there's a fear like a worry like if i don't know if somebody actually did something wrong or does something wrong or you call someone out on something over this weekend but the re that they're they have some trauma okay um they're trying to save face they don't want to tell you something they're lying so that you don't worry or that you don't have any anxiety or stress so it, it could be as simple as like you ask somebody how you look in this outfit and it's like a white lie like they don't tell you that maybe they don't really like the dress or the outfit or what you did with your hair or something um so they don't tell you it's like a white lie <clears throat> But for others, it could be um, maybe like a red flag lie. Let's see. Oh, okay, so they're lying because they don't want you to. <laughs> they don't want you to be disappointed in them. <clears throat> yeah, Virgo. Um, wow, somebody does not want you to be disappointed, so they're not going to tell you the truth. Could be they don't want to hurt your feelings. Um, hold on, I'm getting more messages here. Could have something to do with why somebody left, why they walked away, why they went silent. Okay. Um, hmm. Virgo. Give me a second. Um, so I will say that th whoever this person is, they could be a Gemini, they could be a Pisces. Um, this person, not telling you the truth, it could be a Cancer. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, um, they just said that it's like, it's possible that this person, their default is to not tell the truth. Like it's ingrained in the subconscious. They automatically respond with a lie. So th this person has some like deep-rooted trauma. Um, does that mean maybe they were criticized their whole life or accused of things their whole life and it's like a protective measure? It could be. Um, it's up to you, I guess, to get to the bottom of something here or get to the truth about something. But I feel like there's a message here about, uh, like, I don't feel like someone is intentionally trying to hurt you over this weekend. I just feel like somebody, whoever this person is, they don't want to disappoint you either with something they did or something you ask them so they automatically default to kind of covering it up okay yes i feel that really strong like even with the high priestess that's kind of secretive they don't want you to know something so they're just kind of like okay even they're like going to abandon the whole situation just cover it up real quick lie about something really quick so that you will just kind of be distracted by the explanation. It'd just be like, oh, okay, and just leave it alone. What is this about, though? Let's see if we can try to zero in. What exactly is this lie about? Hmm, the hangman. 
Something to do with letting go. Okay, wait. Could be their beliefs also. Something to do with their beliefs. Could be something to do with spirituality, spiritual beliefs. That's one thing. Can Virgo know anything else about uh, why they, why there was a pause? Something to do with a pause or a stop in something? Why something stopped? Why somebody left? Oh, King of Cups. Okay, so that just tells me. It's, um, yeah, Pisces energy, Aquarius, could be Cancer, could be Scorpio. Um, I feel like this person is using, a, 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 they're saying like a form of empathy. So in other words, they know that something will probably upset you. So they're not going to tell you the truth or they don't want to be criticized or they don't want to be, they don't want you to be disappointed in them by something that they did or didn't do. Anything else for Virgo to know for the weekend? Okay, Queen of Swords. That's your energy. Could be um, also Libra, Gemini, like I said, or like I said, Aquarius. It's trying to get to the truth. Yeah, I mean, there's like a question and there's some kind of conversation that happens over this weekend and this person is going to evade. So they don't hurt your feelings or um, I don't know if they like I don't know what like what they did 100% I was asking but they're not telling me I don't know what exactly it was Can you, uh, spirit can tell Virgo what exactly maybe it was okay hmm the Emperor It could have something to do with somebody else. Um, a boss. It could be something about a boss or an employee. This could be related to that. Or a father figure. Or some or an elder. Anything else? What about this? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Someone doesn't want to tell you that someone close to them has passed away or that they're grieving. Or that they're... Um, okay, lies, you know, they come in many forms. <laughs> Somebody could be grieving about someone passing away, and um, or they're just sad about something. They're in grief. There's some kind of loss. Uh, someone's feeling that, like a, even a failure, or that they failed something. They don't want to. They don't want to express it. So this could also be about emotions. You know, the King of Cups generally doesn't wear their emotions on their sleeve. They keep it very deep, hidden within. Someone doesn't want to share with you um, about their emotional grief or their loss and probably will just smooth it over and be like, everything's fine. They don't want to, they don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want you to see that in them. Some kind of loss of some sort. It could be loss of a job. It could be loss of a parent. It could be <clears throat> anything. It, 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 you know, it could be something that you're maybe wearing or something that you did differently. The, the bottom line is what they're telling me is this person does not want to disappoint you. They don't want to feel vulnerable. They don't want to open up and express their deepest, innermost fearing, feelings. They would just maybe say, um, okay, it's because of this and just move on. So you may experience something like this over this weekend, okay? If they lost their job, they are feeling like a failure they don't want you to know they don't want to express this to you they don't want you to be disappointed in them this is coming from them i don't know how you will feel i don't know you might be disappointed you might not but they don't want to bring that to the table they would just rather forget about it just tell you anything and just move it on move on could be somebody they got involved with as well now you also have vacation Okay, so let's see. You will be traveling soon. So you're going to get some news about traveling. Yep, look at that. Four of Swords. Rest and relaxation right here. Yeah, so there's a trip. Some kind of trip. Vacation. Little R&R. &R, something coming up. Could be uh, traveling over this weekend. Or um, 
you could be finding out about some kind of vacation. So that's a four. So in April, for sure, going somewhere. Okay. Could have to do with a Queen of Cups, a Gemini, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Let's see. What else does Virgo need to know? Can't pick the card up. All right, the moon. Ooh, secret. Okay, there's some kind of secret. Hmm. You, so they just said, you already know about this, or you feel this coming? Some kind of trip. Little R&R &R with someone. Or someone else is thinking about this, about traveling with you or spending some time together. You may find out about this on April 18th, or the trip may be booked April 18th. Let's see. What else is Virgo? Well, what was that? I know I just saw. Did I? No, I guess not. It flipped back in the deck. Okay, well, maybe it'll pop out again. Let's see. I just heard, fly me to the moon. Song, fly me to the moon. Oh, okay. So there is some kind of like R&R &R with maybe a sibling or someone from your past. Somebody reconnects with you over this weekend about a trip. Some kind of surprise, secret trip. King of Swords is here. Um, hmm. Now that, I feel like, I don't feel like that's your energy. So there could be a trip or traveling or vacation or some kind of get together, a reconciliation or reunion of some sort. Um, someone's being very nostalgic about you and expressing that or wanting to do something with you over this weekend or make plans for the future. Um, it could be with a Taurus, a Gemini, a water sign as well. A Libra. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So uh, this there's an improvement here. Definitely. This there's some kind of like recovering from a loss, getting together with someone. Okay. There's money. I'm hearing there's money. There's this is like no struggle, no struggle here. So generally, when I look at the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. This is like um, a positive. There's stability here, I feel. Like um, there's freedom. Someone's making some kind of change here. Okay, so there is going to be, a, you might get some communication from someone about a vacation, traveling, getting together. This is someone that you knew from before. And... Um, or someone that you maybe once knew. It could also be like a, a family member or a sibling or someone from your past. Okay. Um, there's definitely an energy of putting in some effort to make something happen. So working to save money for a trip, a vacation, that could be you. But there's someone who's going to put effort into a, a connection with you where I, I just heard when I'm finished work, when I'm done work, when I finish something, we'll make plans to go somewhere. Oh, fantasy, dreams, plans. Where should we go? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? And so vacation can just be like a whole week of a getaway. It could be a weekend getaway. Um, it could just be a road trip. I feel like someone's going to really put some effort into connecting with you. For some of you, it could also be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Oh, yeah, it's romantic. Okay, it's romantic. It's it's either <laughs> all three of these people or one of three is going to um, ask you to do something with them over this weekend. Plan a trip to do something. There's communication. Loving message. A new love. For some of you, it's a new love. Getting asked out to go do something over the weekend. Oh my gosh. Knight of Cups. Yeah, definitely. This person coming through is very romantic and charming. It could be a Libra. It could be a Scorpio. Um, very romantic and charming. A proposal of some sort. Uh, I'm just feeling like a strong, you know, if it's not a sibling, hopefully it's not who's being romantic with you. But um, 
it's definitely an offer and a proposal and communication about this, about a getaway. Okay, so expect to hear from someone over this weekend about a future getaway or just something happening, a getaway for this this weekend. Maybe some of you are already, you got that planned. You also have intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. And you have the Ace of Swords, Virgo. So you have a breakthrough. Your intuition is telling you something. Oh no, something's a red flag. Something is a red flag. You see it, Virgo. What does this have to do with? Oh, okay. Negative thoughts. Oh, Virgo. Virgo, this is about you. I feel like you you wake up to something over this weekend where it's like, you know what? You know what the red flag is? My damn negative thinking. That's my red flag. Sometimes people, well, maybe Virgos, will tend to search for messages that they're not worthy or not good enough. Yeah. Um, a red flag is... I feel like for you, maybe you come to terms with or you realize over this weekend that you're self-sabotaging or sabotaging because you don't feel worthy. That Eight of Swords is a card of negative thinking, self-imposed restrictions, self-imprisonment, a victim mentality, or entrapment. Yes. So there might be something here that you like intuit about yourself over this weekend. It's not so it's it's but it's a good thing because it's like a, a little bit of a light bulb moment. You know, that ace of swords is kind of like an a light bulb moment for me. It's like da ding, hold on a minute. Am I not taking this job on purpose because I have an internal fear that it won't work out? So that's like self sabotage. That's like you're sabotaging something. The red flag I feel like is in you. Do you have a fear of success? This is a real wake-up call. This is like getting clarity over this weekend. Your fears. It's all about looking at your fears. And rather than saying, um, you know, well, maybe it can work out. Well, what if it does work out for me, right? Because you might be like, well, what if it doesn't work out? Or what if something isn't good, you know? Well, what if it is, Virgo? What if this does work out? And it, So it's a matter of like thinking positively, right so it could have something about accepting an offer or coming into partnership with someone a person place or a thing i think your intuition is is like you have a, a light bulb moment over this weekend and it's about your internal red flags in regards to like i said a new love relationship um coming into agreement signing an agreement um it could have to do with job it could have to do with your health you know you might be fearing to connect in some way because you may have a fear that it's not going to work out. You might have these old tapes that run and say, well, it never works out for me. I try and I try. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. Now, these cards just fell out. Yeah, I'll go if I go too fast or somebody's just going to come in with this impulsive behavior, this sexual energy, and then it's just going to end and I'm going to be left single and alone you know try to gain my balance and stability ace of cups in the reverse but then i'm just going to feel empty again so there's for some of you there is this fear of connecting with someone that, that it's not going to work out and i, I kind of feel like over the weekend you take a look at that and you're like wait a minute is it me is my are my fears driving me my past traumas are my fears driving me keeping me from giving something a shot Whatever it is, a relationship, a job, a new, a re relocating to a new place, you know. Don't let your fears stop you, Virgo, because you never know how things are going to turn out. Yeah, I mean, love comes with risk. Give to the situation. You don't have to give everything. I'm here. You don't have to give everything. You don't have to give, you know, when I always say, like, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Put a couple in there and, and just go slow and just see. What else does Virgo need to know? Oh, yeah, there's a Hierophant. This is about making some kind of commitment to anything, committing to something. Institutions, tradition, religion, society and its rules, playing by the rule book, social approval, conformity, trust. Yeah, that's what I feel like. 
some of you might just be fearful of committing again because you've been through some kind of trauma or you've had like negative experiences. Yet, you know, I mean, Virgo, you, you always have a choice. You know, you can live alone with your cat. Um, you can stay in your, your dead end job where you're not happy. And, and usually people do that stuff because it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. Some people are choosing just to be safe rather than take a risk. And that's okay too. It's up to you. But someone here has something going on where the safety is becoming a little bit uncomfortable. There's a Virgo here that really wants to break out and be impulsive, but at the same time has a fear of doing that and maybe tries to not do it. And I feel like the, the strong, I'm not telling you over this weekend to take a risk. I'm saying, take a look at this. The, there's a clarity, there's a light bulb moment. And this is about overcoming some kind of obstacle. So either you take the advice and you look at that, or it just comes to you. Are things not working out because I fear competition? Are things not working out because I'm fearing conflict? Do I have an avoidant attachment style? Am I fearful avoidant? Yeah. Look, avoiding conflict. Hmm. Do I, am I neurodiverse? Am I waking up to maybe I have something like that going on? Hmm. That's an interesting, these are some interesting messages here ending up over the weekend. So it's kind of like, Maybe you do some like self-reflection over this weekend about yourself or maybe another person. Your intuition is very strong and on point about something. You do get an answer. You do get some clarity. Anything else for Virgo? Oh, wow. Ten of Swords. This is totally surrendering. Yeah, this is total... <sighs> Cards like, don't even touch me. Total surrender. This is like... Ultimate completion, final manifestation, result of true will, recognition, continuation, realization, and an ending. Some of you are going to hit rock bottom about this. About this like, oh, wait a minute. I'm sabotaging something here because of my fear. So we, you know, operate out of fear or we operate out of love. Where are you at? Right? Where are you at with that? Where are you at with those things? These could be just very minimal, minuscule things or big, big time Big ticket items, big ticket issues. Coming to realize something over this weekend. Maybe it's even, for some of you, there's a fear of leaving something. Fear of walking away from something. A fear of quitting something. Trying to avoid the conflict or consequence that comes with something. There's consequence to everything, right? Let's see your messages of love for the weekend. True love. Your True, true love is emotional, physical, and, and unconditional. Play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Take it easy, Virgo. Disregards a relationship, fear of, of spending time with someone, that something might not work out, right? Taking some time apart, distance bringing clarity, maybe realizing, you know what? I, why so serious? Maybe I shouldn't take things so seriously. Now just go out and have fun. Just live and enjoy my life right? Lean on your inner circle during this time, seeking support. No people love you, Virgo. People, There's people in your life who do care about, I don't care if it's just your cat, yeah? Time to put up some boundaries for yourself. Not just, not for other people, but for yourself, you know? When you stand for nothing, you fall for everything, or you fall for anything. You need to put some boundaries up this weekend for yourself. What am I willing and not willing to tolerate for myself anymore? Really, that's the question. And you have past life love showing up this weekend. Your soul remembers an intense connection. Looking at your past, some of you are just like going back to your childhood. Why do I sabotage? Why do I do this? Where is this coming from? You're going to get an apology from someone or... You're going to apologize to yourself, right? And forgive yourself for something. Something maybe your parents did or didn't do. And then forgiving them or apologizing to yourself for allowing that to dictate your life still. The subconscious is always the undercurrent. Those old tapes that play 
your subconscious comes out in your dreams recognizing your dreams getting some answers in your dreams your subconscious runs the underworld <laughs> of what you do say and think and your conscience rationalizes why you do the things you do right tells you sometimes your conscience will gaslight you right but mm, i think that there some you know your subconscious is coming up bubbling up like a volcano and is saying to you oh i see i need to make a decision about a relationship about a relationship with myself about a relationship with my past yeah so you have some kind of wake up for sure one more one more for virgo oh they gave you three and oh, they gave you four integrity does the situation align with your values and morals and maybe even asking yourself what are my values and morals what do i believe are the things that i believe and my morals based on what other people have told me over the years what do i really think what do i really want what works for me you've got chemistry there is an attraction with someone that you feel this mutual chemistry and you're also put away the computer working less will help strengthen a relationship over this weekend maybe even with yourself and you have friendship. There is a friendship that's leading to more over this weekend as well. Nice. All right, let's get some Chinese signs. Which Virgo am I talking to? Which Virgo is here? Which Virgo am I talking to? The Chinese sign. Show, show, show. All right, year of the rabbit. Virgo rabbit. Virgo horse. Virgo ox. Virgo rooster. Virgo rat, a Virgo horse again, a Virgo dog, a Virgo tiger, tiger again, rat again, <laughs> rooster again, one more, come on, come on, a Virgo monkey, is that you? Is this message is going to be for you. All right. There we go, all at once. The initial K, 19, oh no, someone's 58. Someone's born in December. Someone's born in 1965. Someone is 33. Someone's born in 68. Someone is 52. September 9th, September 4th, September 19th, August 31st, August 23rd, August 28th. Someone's born in 1985. Someone is 46. Someone is 43. September 17th, we have the letter I, initial I, initial D, initial R, Daria, Dirk, initial A, initial E, initial V, we have a U, we have an L, we have an F and an O, we have the letter, what letter is that? Z, ooh. Venezuela. Someone is Venezuelan. We have the initial N. Noel. Noel. We have Frank. Someone's born in 1990. Someone's birthday is in April. We have an Aries. Capricorn. Cancer. Scorpio. September 12th. Someone's name is Luca or Luna. We have a Dirk. We have um, Edward, Eve, someone, okay, they just said iron. Maybe you're ironing right now. <laughs> Someone's in Las Vegas. We have Utah, Rhode Island, Arizona. Someone lives in Europe or someone's from Europe. Interesting, Virgo. All right, let's get a charm. All right, you've got a frog. You have a frog. This is pretty much the message they're giving me is you need to take a leap with something here, Virgo. It's time to take a leap. Oh, do you remember that 80s Atari game called Leapfrog? I used to play that all the time. I loved Leapfrog. Okay, you got to take a leap. A leak? Do you got to go to the bathroom? <laughs> something here about a frog taking a leap. Leap of faith. Now, I did say it, that you don't have to take a leap of faith, but you're being called to take a leap of faith. Okay. Another charm for Virgo, please. Okay. Oh, 
You've got a key with a rose. A kiss. What's that song? Kiss from a rose? That's an old song. A key with a rose. Hmm. Somebody's name might be Rose. There's a connection here to flowers. Roses are the key. I'm just hearing. Roses are the key. What's this card? All right, we've got a dog. Year of the dog. Let me see something here. I just want to look at this a little more. Oh, I'm also picking up Royal. Oh, all right. I just heard I can't believe it's not butter. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. What the hell is it if it's not butter? Oil? <laughs> all right, Virgo. So that's your message. It's pretty quick. I got to get out of here. But I, guess, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, nothing overly dramatic this weekend. It's just a little bit of an eye-opener thing here. That's what I feel is going on. So if you want to get a personal reading, click the link in the description box below. That'll take you over to my link tree. And you can peruse all the links, link, link, link that I have there. Um, also, if we have any new members, I would like to welcome them. I am Evie Love. Welcome to the Virgo Loyalty Membership Gang. Happy to have you here. If you were a member before, go ahead and um, rejoin. The price is lower now. It's $2.99 per month. And um, you will get your status back from when you were a member here before on my channel. Definitely go check that out. Pop in the live stream, the chat. Everybody's always happy to welcome you. Say hello to the mods. And yeah, you guys have a fantastic weekend and I will see you back here Sunday evening. Take care, bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you, bye.